Hey, I am back to make some more. So today I'm going to make a uh, flow state soap. So this soap is inspired by um, the Hawaii pipeline. So if you have been following me for a while, you'll know that I watch the surfing um, pretty much every single day actually at home. So in the evening we sit down and we don't watch TV or the news and things like that. We sort of have dinner and usually put YouTube on and that will find us the channels that we're subscribed to um, for all the surfing in Hawaii and, and elsewhere. So we, we watch Jamie O'Brien, we watch Ben Gravy, Co Rothman, uh, Nathan Florence, um, Eli Olsen, and Eli Olsen is my inspiration for today's soap name. So he has a brand called Flow State, which is his uh, website is Flow State Vlog. So, I mean, Flow State, the actual meaning of Flow State is when you are immersed in something that you love to do, soap making, <laughs> Um, and you're in the zone and you're in the quiet. So when I'm not filming, sometimes I'm making soap and you get into what is known as the flow state. So I would imagine that surfers are in that state every single time they hit the waves. So this soap is inspired by the Hawaii pipeline. So I've looked up Hawaii pipeline on Google images to just try and find some inspiration for colour. Now, obviously, we're going to go down the turquoise and sky blues and sea blues route. But if you can see this on my camera, this is not, sorry, on my phone, I've just pulled up this image and I've got colours that I think we can get. So I'm going to use cerulean blue, as you can see, that base colour there is pretty much a bang on match for this one. But I think what I might do, and this is going to be... Um, yeah, maybe a little stressful, we shall see. I want to create like a gradient with this. So I also want to put the molds on their side. So I'm gonna be making three loaves of this. <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself, but hey ho, we're gonna try. So yeah, the idea is to get it looking actually like this picture in a way. So I'll put the molds on their side and get that sort of gradient colour. And then in the middle, I'm going to put a little white since we've got we've got the white there. So I'm going to do like a layer of white. So and then on the very top, I'm going to be using this Egyptian blue from Micah Mama for this sky. And then on the very top, I'm going to use some black salt. So as we know, Hawaii has beaches where um, the sand is black. So I just want to put a little sprinkle of that just so it's not like a flat blue on the top. So, um, yeah, wish me luck. The scent that I'm using is a blend and I'm going to be using Seychelles. It's a bit of a mess, this bottle. I've had it a few months and I need to use it up. So this is Seychelles from Saint Perfique. And it smells so good. This is such a... It reminds me of when I went to Antigua years ago. It's got like this coconutty and melon and it's just... Um, it just smells like beach. It smells so good. It's a very aquatic, but um, yeah, coconut. It's got sort of everything in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then as a little mixer, I'm going to use a little bit of torrential rains from Nature's Garden. Now this one does rice and does accelerate. So I mean, I'm going to use a tiny smidge, but this one will just... Oh, it's so good. This would be really, really lovely in other products. I have used this in soap before but I've used it with another fragrance oil. So I'm gonna use just a tiny smidge. So I know that this one soaps fine, and this one I know doesn't. So we're gonna use a tiny, tiny bit of that, just to top it off. This one smells like, when you think fake rain, it smells like this. And there's also an attachment to a seaside town in the UK to this scent in my mind, called Teenmouth. And Teenmouth is down in Devon, and years ago, I used to visit Teamworth with a friend of mine whose grandparents lived there and we used to go and stay with her grandparents on the top of this hill and as you looked out of this great big front window there was like this valley and then just in the centre was the sea so you could sit in their living room and just look out to sea and the smell of their house smells like this. It's like as soon as I smelled this 
when I first mod this years ago, and we're going back when I was at my old workshop, so maybe five years or so, I smelled this and I was instantly back in that house. So yeah, I want to use a little smidge of that just to go and put a little UK beach in there. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for some oils to cool and I need to get these to cool right down because as we know, this may um, accelerate. So the other, I was going to use a little jade green, but I think you know, I was going to use a bit of that, but hmm, I think I might be a bit too ambitious. So we'll stick with this one, the top, the blue, and this one. So this I'm going to sort of do a gradient or an ombre if you'd rather. Okay, so I will get my oils to the right temperature and then we can start. Okay, I've decided to be sensible and only soap one loaf on video. And it's just in case anything goes wrong. <laughs> Which I don't want to happen, so I thought I'll be sensible and do a loaf and then see how this goes. And then I can determine how the other two are going to go. See? Using my noodle. <laughs> After all these years of soap making, I'm finally picking up tips and tricks for myself. This year, how many would it be? Five, six. It'll be about 15 years since I've been making, since I started making soap. That's a long time. Stupid long time. Okay, I'm just going to stick them to a light trace. Just to, it's actually not a light trace at all, it's a light emulsification because I don't want to reach trace just yet. Do I? Okay, now using my lie container, what I want to do is I only want about half for my base. So I'm going to have to start off with a small amount because I'm going to add as we go along. We want the darkest amount to start with. Okay, let's take the mica. So the cerulean is like this. It's such a nice colour. So we're going to put the majority. Into, it looks like a lot, but we're going to be doing a gradient. So there's two spoons to start with. And I'm going to stick them that in. Okay. Should we get a pipette? Pipette. And just use some of the fragrance there. So, what have I got in there? Should we? Yeah, only want a little smidge. Yeah, that goes. Okay, that seems okay. Stick them a bit more. So it's going to be a bit of a noisy start. I'll try and edit out some of it anyway. But doing these can be a bit of a pain in the bum. Okay, so I'm just using a little box just to prop my mould onto its side there. I really want it to move. So I'm going to pour. Some of that down there. Then I'm going to add some more soap. I might just do like three or four lines, maybe. Let's see. Just want to take it to go lighter and lighter and lighter.
Sure that mixes in completely. Just to burn that again. Okay. Let's see what we get with that one. Do we need it to get to that edge at the top there? But I don't want to move the mould yet. Okay. Okay, I think that should look quite interesting. Okay, so now I'm going to mix up the white. Put that over there for a second. Okay, I've already mixed up some titanium dioxide and a little water. And I want a nice frothy whatever, I have a jug full of that and then that will be my sky, my blue frothy surf there, okay, now we should, should, I'll just leave it up just for a minute and just pour it, you need to see what I'm doing don't you, so it's quite, that's it, that's it, perfect. Down. Staying nice and um, like a nice consistency. It's thick because I've thickened it with uh, the stick blender, but I needed it like that. Okay, now I want to leave that like it is. I don't want to flatten that down, otherwise, it'll ruin, ruin the effect that I'm going for. Well, I think. Okay, now. We're going to move on to our blue sky. Let's just keep that propped up a bit more. Right, we're going to use this lovely Egyptian blue. I'm going to use some tissue. and see what that comes out like. Right. Okay, that's thicker now. So we're going to just pour this and make sure it gets in all the nooks and crannies and all them bits in there.
and try and get it sort of even. So, there we go, that's the soap in, now I need, Ooh. my tissue's disappeared up inside the box, <laughs> I just take some out of that, okay, so I don't want to like touch it, if you see what I mean, bring it down a minute, yeah, I don't want to touch any of it, I want it to just be like that, and then over the top, sprinkle just bits of that black salt I'm glad I didn't decide to do three loaves in one I think even doing the two might be a bit tricky it did, it did thicken but not too bad at all not too bad at all. Okay, that is flow state. A little bit of white on the top there. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like that on top, and I'm going to go off and make two more, and then I'll be back to cut, and we'll see what it comes out like inside. Okie dokie. Right, back on the next day to cut. Flow state looks like this. So let's have a look and see how that came out. I've just got into work this morning and we're having a bit of a nightmare here, as in we have a roof leak in the back room. So that's it, that's just so, oh, the fun and games of an old building. So there's supposed to be someone coming out to come and fix it because I've got buckets in the back room now. <laughs> okay, see what this is like then. I've got a feeling I'll probably use too much white, but, 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 nothing. It doesn't matter, does it? Don't matter. Okay, so there's a few little gaps in the very end. But I do like that colour. Let's see. Let's see the moment of truth. Okay, I'll just cut the one and then that's that. I've got two more to cut that I made afterwards, which went just the same. It went quite well actually, it's so nice. Oh, hmm. Yeah, I thought I might have used a bit too much white, but it's okay. I would have liked that to, to be a bit more, um, yeah, <laughs> on the diagonal, but never mind. Still quite nice colours anyway. But yeah, I got a feeling this was going to be too much. I only wanted a little bit, didn't I? And the rest, I wanted it to be sloping a bit more, like that picture. 
but there's some nice shades on that gradient there. Mm. Not quite what I had in mind. It looks more like clouds <laughs> and mountains, maybe. <laughs> Still nice and it smells really good. Mm. Do you like the scent? That's a nice one. Nice shaped soap with that nice top. I like that I left those sort of globules. That one's quite nice on that side. Yeah, I like that I left those big globules of blue soap on the top and didn't sort of do anything to change how it just came out. I quite like the, the look of it. So there's that bit. Let's just chop the rest. Okay. So today I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go and pick up my doggy in a minute. I left her at home this morning thinking I'll just go and chop that soap up and then I was just going to upload video all day. But now it looks like I'm going to have to go back and forth to let this guy sort out the roof situation. What a pain in the bum. He's already been out once. We've had two blokes out to look at it. One walked away and said he would put a plan together of what needs to be done. And then that's been a few days. But of course yesterday it rained a lot. And now the leak is back again. Which is obviously... There are several issues up there. But that's the soap anyway. I'll put some pics at the end and see if in the second batch, um, well, the, last, the other two loaves I've made, whether we've got any differences. And uh, see if any of them come out a little bit better than this one. But it was fun. And I will see you later. Ta-ta.